So if everything in Linux is a file, and it's all text-oriented, then it's safe to say that the speed at which you as a user can operate with text-based input and output is directly related to the speed of which you can operate the Linux operating system. And with speed comes efficiency and ideally effectiveness. And this is where Vim comes in, and this is where advanced text editors come in, because we'll start to hit limitations with the nano text editor. And you may have heard horror stories of the Vim text editor where people have opened it up and they can't exit it and they just restart their computer. And that's not that far off actually. It has a bit of a steep learning curve, but yields excellent results once you get going with it. Let's jump in. So what is Vim? Well, Vim is actually the improved editor of VI, which is also another really powerful editor, but Vim has more features to it. And now recall when we were editing the cron tab, we ran the select editor command. And if we run it, you can see it gives us a list of options. And yes, nano is the easier text editor to get started. A good way to think about it is that they're both text editors and nano is simple and Vim is powerful. There is a difference between the two. And I'll give you a scenario. Let's say that you needed to strip out all personal information from a file, like phone numbers, social security numbers, and so forth. In Nano, you would have to know the specific number that you're looking for, run a search, and then delete it. Now with Vim, you could just put in a pattern matching search and say, look for any patterns where a social security sequence or a phone number sequence could occur, and then remove it. So you see, there are two different types of tools, one for simple editing, as you need, and then one for much more powerful use cases. So just keep that in mind. So let's actually select Vim as our basic editor. And we're gonna use a tool called Vim Tutor to learn. And Vim Tutor is actually a tutor built inside of the terminal. It's literally a tool to teach you how to use Vim because there is a steep learning curve and it kind of walks you through the steps of how to do basic file administration. And I'm gonna do that with you today just to let you know and walk you through that it's not as scary as it needs to be. And to start Vim Tutor, we literally just type Vim Tutor and it's gonna load the session for us, for us to be able to work with. So this is Vim Tutor. It's literally text inside of a Vim editor and it instructs you with lessons. And moving around with Vim is with the H, K, J, and L keys as I'm doing right now. We can see here that H is left and L is right and J is down and K is up. So that's a little different and that's what really throws people off. We're so used to the arrow keys. So just do this with me. And lesson 1.1 is literally just moving the cursor. Go through it up and down. And now we're in lesson 1.2. And lesson 1.2 is we want to exit Vim. And in order to do that, we actually have to hit escape. And now escape actually brings us to a new type of mode because there are modes of editing inside of Vim. And escape brings us to something called normal mode. And normal mode allows us to do some more advanced features. And yes, exiting is actually inside there. So if we hit escape, we should see a little flash in the bottom right that a keystroke was hit over there for escape. And now we want to hit colon and Q and exclamation mark. And this exits discarding any changes. It's like quitting without saving. So let's go ahead and try that right now and hit enter when you're ready. And now let's go back in. So that's it. It's, it's not that bad, right? Getting outside of Vim. You don't have to research your computer. So now let's go back down to the next lesson and we'll use the J key to keep going down. Keep going, keep going. And now we're in lesson 1.3 and that's deletion. So in order to delete a character on the spot of what we're currently highlighting, we have to hit the X key. So what it wants us to do is go down to the statement where it says the cow jumped over the moon and it wants us to use the arrow keys of H, J, K, and L. So try your best to use that. Navigate down and fix those errors in that statement. Just like I did right there, kind of fixing up a couple of characters and messing around with it on line number three. So now let's just go left and right on this line over here and fix that extra C, get rid of that D, the V, the R, the H and that O. And now we have a correct line of the cow jumped over the moon. Cool, so that's actually just deleting characters in the spot using the X key. 
And now see this line over here saying, do not try to memorize, learn by usage. I can't recommend that enough. I truly agree with this as well too when it comes to Vim. Don't try and memorize things, just keep on going. The muscle memory will kick in. So let's just keep going down using the same keys, not the arrow keys. And now we wanna do insertion. So how do we actually insert some text? So what we want to do is we want to actually press the I key when we're ready. And now notice I'm inside of the insert mode. I hit the I key on the keyboard. So now I can go back and forth in this line and all I wanna do is match up the bottom where it says there is some text missing from this line. I just want to make the top line match up to that one. Okay, on to the next one. Let's take a look at text editing. Now, and this is a pending text. So we can actually go and press the A key on the keyboard and this will be like insert mode, but it will allow us to start appending text to the line instead of right before the character, like with the I key. And that's really the basics of working with inside of Vim. At this point, we've now done everything that we've done inside of Nano, arguably a little bit quicker once you start getting used to the keystrokes. And now we can actually wrap up this lesson. So if we look at lesson 1.6, it's just letting us know that we would want to go ahead and actually quit this file using escape colon Q exclamation mark. And if we wanted to write any changes, we could have just used colon WQ, but it doesn't want us to actually update this file. And that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and actually just quit this file as instructed. But before we do, we're going to take a look at the lesson one summary, and then we'll hop into our own Vim session and try some things out. So the lesson one summary over here, as we can see, we can move the cursor around with H for left, J for down, K for up, L for right, kind of like where your fingers are on the keyboard. And if we want to start Vim from the shell, we would just type Vim and then file name. And if we want to exit it, we can write in escape Q exclamation mark. And if we wanted to write any changes, we could do escape W Q. And last but not least, Hitting the I key brings us inside of the insert mode so we can start inserting text. And A does the same, but appends it. So let's go ahead and exit this so we can start working inside of our own Vim session. We'll hit escape, colon, Q, exclamation mark, and hop out from here. Okay, so let's create our own file now to edit with inside of Vim. And we can write Vim space learning things. And learning things is now the file name that we're working with. And now we're inside. So we can hit I for insert and start writing in some text. So just put some text over here and we could enter to go to a new line. And let's keep practicing using the H, J, K, and L keys to go back and forth here. And then we can hit A so we can actually append some text to this line over here. Cool, so let's just keep getting a little bit of practice. And now let's actually delete some things. And we learned how to use that with the X key on the keyboard, but we can actually do something advanced, and this is part of the later lessons inside of the Vim Tutor. If we press the D key right now, notice in the bottom right, D was pressed. This is now gonna allow us to delete words. If we hit the W key, DW deletes word. We keep doing that, DW, DW, and that actually just deletes whole words at a given time. That's kind of cool. And we can also delete the entire line. So if we actually press DD back and forth, the whole line will actually be deleted. So you can start seeing, right? Those are some of the shortcuts where Vim starts to get much faster. So let's go and put in three lines of text now just to practice some more with that deletion and going back and forth. Just add line of text, line of text, line of text. Give us three lines to work with. And then we can go back up to the top and mess around with a little bit more of that line deletion. We can do DW, DW and delete two more words. We can go back down over here and hit the X key to delete some of the line and then just for fun, let's just try to make the lines actually read line of text. So we'll go back and forth and use the X key on the keyboard and delete the characters that we don't need. So we need a line of, but we can actually just do a DW and delete the whole word of text. And then let's go down to the bottom line. And then we can get rid of those first two words with DW, DW as well too. Cool. Now let's save. So let's actually hit escape and then do a W key with an exclamation mark, which does a write and quit and it quits right away because of that exclamation mark. Awesome, so that's just a basic introduction to Vim. I just really wanted to orient you around it and show that it's not so bad. You don't have to be too worried about it. And from here on out, the next two labs, we are gonna use Vim to get ourselves oriented around scripting and variables and building our own security backup tool. We'll see you in those.